this boy didn't do anything to deserve what I found. Morning, we're hearing from the man who discovered the remains of a teenager killed on Christmas Eve. He says he discovered the body of a murdered 16-year-old. Investigators have now identified the remains found Sunday in Shelby County as that of Dion Williams. And he was one of two teens who went missing on Christmas Eve. The body of 15-year-old Timmy Jackson was found just two months ago. Prosecutors charged a bounty hunter and bail bondsman with their murders. This morning, Eyewitness News reporter Matt McCutcheon has more from the man who found the last key piece of evidence in this case. Matt? Julia, good morning. You can imagine the heartbreaking Christmases that two separate families experienced after not knowing and not hearing from their loved ones and finding out just a couple of days later what actually happened to the two of them. A man would be arrested, but it would take several months for those two bodies to be found. The last key piece, the last discovery of that 16 year old being made on Sunday in Shelby County. That person identified, as you know, 16-year-old Dion Williams, one of two teenagers who disappeared on Christmas Eve. And now the bounty, former bounty hunter and bondsman is facing even more charges. Williams disappeared on Christmas Eve along with his friend Timmy Jackson. A few days later, Kevin Watkins was arrested for murder in those cases. Police say Watkins may have believed at least one of the teens stole from him. Timmy Jackson's body was found two months ago on the east side in a retention pond in a shallow grave. Then on Sunday, the discovery came in Shelby County while a man was out feeding farm animals when one of his dogs discovered a human hand. When he walked further into the field, he found the rest of the body and immediately called police. You know, there are a lot of negative things that come of this. No one should ever, ever have to walk up on something like this. And it was actually my friend who said first, well, if there's any positive to this, there's a family that's going to get some closure. And that Shelby County man says that had it been just a couple of days later, that discovery may have never been made because a farmer would have been working in that field. As for Kevin Watkins, he's already behind bars on murder and several other charges. He's expected in court here next month. Back to you. All right, Matt, thank you. And more on Kevin Watkins. As you mentioned, he is in the Marion County Jail facing murder charges in connection with the teen's deaths. Prosecutors have also charged him, though, with criminal confinement and impersonating a public servant. They say Watkins posed as the feds, even handcuffed another teen just days before these alleged killings. As uh, Matt mentioned there, he'll be back in court for another hearing.